baby, I'll tell you what, if you need lights for a bike, a helmet, a skateboard, a backpack, anything active, gonna need to take a look at Shred Lights. <laughs> Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony and today we're going to be looking at a whole line of Shred Lights products. These are stuff that can be used on bikes, skateboards, helmets, backpacks, just about anything you might want to stick a light on, you can stick a light on. Now these lights are perfect, very bright, very solid, waterproof, super durable, come with mounts for just about anything and you can just buy the extra mounts and swap between the two. It's really pretty amazing if you have a lot of active stuff that you want to use lights for. So what we've got here is a two pack of SL300, a two pack of SL r1 and the sl1000 which just comes in a single pack really because these are like headlights and tail lights type of thing you could put them on your bike or skateboard and then this is basically just a white light so you got red white and white this light right here man this is like the mega monster of their lights it's a thousand lumens if you don't know much about flashlights that is super super bright ipx7 waterproof quick release mounting usb-c charging this thing is so bright and so good it could be used for any assortment of things put it in your hurricane pack or whatever you know we've got a loadout for hurricanes around here we live on the coast in north carolina my plan is to put this on my super 73 bike when i get it but what's cool is that i can have a bar mount like this and put one on my bike one on my wife's bike and then we could just swap it out between the two bikes you know if i'm riding the skateboard and she's riding the bike at night she could just swap it out it's pretty cool so i guess let's look at the mounts first because that's important they have mounts for everything and you don't have to buy the mounts with the light you can just buy the lights by themselves and then anytime you get something new that you want to use the lights on you just buy a different mount and the mounts are inexpensive they're like 10 15 bucks so this is a bar mount you might use this for a bike or something like that it attaches securely to any bar 10 millimeter to 40 millimeter in diameter separate plastic piece allows you to easily swap between round and angled rubber straps great option for bikes scooters mountain board style skateboards and more and they've got really good installation guides right on their website they got an action mount which is good for basically any kind of gopro mounts they've got a flat sticky mount now the flat sticky mount you might put i don't know on the top of a skateboard or something like that if you've got a flat area or something like that curved sticky mount my plan for this there we go, the curved sticky mount. Now this one's got Velcro on it. And you put the Velcro on, say, I don't know, like a helmet, you might stick it right on there like that. Now the remaining mounts are all skateboard mounts. You got these flat mounts. And like I say, they've got something for every single type of mounting that you might need to do. Like for example, on the Lycon board, I was able to put the SL300 underneath the board but I, I had to put the SLR1 on top of the board because it has belt drive motors and all that. But yeah, we got flat mounts in case you need those. So basically you can go on their website and they'll show you, you can shop by device or you know by use, you know, if you're gonna use a skateboard. And then they even have some of the skateboards listed as to what kind you'll need. Standard ones, this is what I used underneath the board with the white lights on the front of mine. So what's nice is that I can take these standard mounts, put them on another one of my skateboards, and when I go out on that skateboard, I can just swap it over to that one. I don't have to have a couple of sets of lights. The angled mounts, these ones are on the back of my Lycon board. You can see them right here. They look really good. It makes it kind of look sinister, like a little robot skateboard from when you look from the back. Planning on world domination. And then you've got extended mounts because there might be times where you want your lights to extend out past the trucks or something like that. But like I say, they've got a mount for everything. You'll find them all on their website. And therein lies what are the reasons why these things are so dang versatile because you can swap them between all of your stuff most people can't ride more than one board at once or more than one bike at once so you'd be able to swap them out i think they might still sell the sl200s but I, i'm not quite sure about that i would just go with the sl300s right off the bat or the sl1000 let's start with this one okay so the sl1000 man this thing could just be a regular flashlight i do a lot of nighttime photography and stuff i do for example going to the body island lighthouse and taking milky way photos in order to get that lighthouse in focus you've got to shine a very bright light on it this would work perfectly for that once again it is up to 1000 lumens quick release mounting usb-c it does have different diffusers there is a, a spare diffuser in here if you want to change the angle beam i don't know if they're going to have other ones but i, I haven't seen any others looking at the back of it it does give all the specs right here you got five brightness settings and it tells you how long the battery will last on those different settings so if you're up to a thousand lumens i mean that is super bright man it's only 1.5 hours but most people are going to probably run them at 250 500 so at 500 you get four hours you got four flash modes on this 
counts to burst, slow flash, burst flash, and fast flash. This light will charge in 3.5 hours, which is great with the USB-C charging and waterproof cover. These things are completely waterproof. This one has an aluminum shell to it. And of course they're patented S-Lock. One of the reasons why I really like this company after talking with them stuff, designed in California, made in China, I'm sorry, designed in San Diego. That's where I'm from. That's where I grew up all the way till I was about 24 years old and got my first radio job and moved to Las Vegas. Modular lens, you can add the diffuser. I'll show you all that right now. So let's pull this out here. Again, they show you some of the different mounts that they've got. You're always going to get a couple of stickers inside and a USB-C. However, they do have this cable available on their site. And this is actually pretty cool because one plug, four lights. You've got four USB-Cs here. And if you're using the four other lights, well, those come in handy because you just plug them all at one time. So here is the diffuser, narrow diffuser. Now on their website, they showed medium. I don't know if there's a difference between that. Maybe they do have other ones. Just to show you real quick, to change the diffuser, you just take this off of right here, this ring. I don't believe that the waterproofness is affected by this at all because that's sealed. But you just take your diffuser and what I do is I just drop it in there like that. Let me just thread that on. Threads on this aren't exactly buttery smooth. So what I do is I kind of turn it backwards until it grabs the thread. And the reason why I mentioned that waterproofness is because there is still, there's a little gap when you actually put that diffuser in there, but I, I haven't had any problems with it. Personally, I think it works just fine without the diffuser in there, but if you want one, they've got it. All right, it says SL1000 there. This is the S-Lock system that's right there. They all work with the exact same mounts and systems, so that is great. Your plug is right there. It's a USB-C, and that completely seals off. You want to make sure that that is pushed in there nice and tight. This button right here is a power button. We're going to hit that and hold it, and it comes on. You get a green indicator telling you that the battery is full. If it were yellow or red, then that would, you know, the corresponding fullness of the battery. If you want to switch modes, you just hit this button right here. And now we've got the flashing mode, either one of those two buttons, another flashing mode, another flashing mode, and then a nice slow pulse. And then to solid. Also for the brightness, it's on its lowest brightness right now. You can hit this button right here at the top, brighter, brighter. Holy cow, bright. <laughs> I mean, dude, you're going to blind people with this. And they even warn you, if you're going to be using this at night, make sure if there's oncoming traffic or pedestrians that you might want to, I don't know, go ahead and put that on a lower setting because you'll probably blind them. So that's nice. Super, super solid. And also, if you would like to turn it off, you can do like this. And then it's always going to give you the indicator to tell you what your battery level is. Let me turn this on real quick. You can also do lockout mode. So if you hold these and count one, two, three... There we go. That's lockout mode. So now this can't be turned on in your book bag or something like that. No accidental presses to turn it on. To, to undo that, just hold those. And there we go. So this is really nice. I mean, you could put this on your helmet. You could put it on, uh, on a bag. You put it on your bike. This is going to go on the handlebar of my Super 73 when I get it. So that is the SL1000. All right, let's look at the SLR1, R for red or for rear, either way. These are pretty much tail lights. Visible from 2,000 feet away, quick release mounting, USB-C charging, and IPX7 waterproof. You get two lights, a charging cable, and stickers inside of the box. And, you know, even if you aren't riding these things at night, you do want to be seen. And I live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. While there are a lot of places to ride, the roads can sometimes be a little tricky and there's a lot of traffic and things like that. I want to make sure people can see me. So during the day, I actually use the R1s. I, I always turn these on. And I just let them blink like that. That way, I'm, I'm pretty sure someone's going to be able to see me out there on the road. Now, while we've got this one lit up, if you press the buttons both at the same time, it will turn off. And it's always going to give you a little indicator when it turns off. Watch, I'll show you. It's hard to see, but there's a light in there that, that shows that was yellow. So this is actually needs to be charged. We'll turn it on. We'll hit this. So you got solid, 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 blink. Different blinking patterns. And then off. Charge it right up here. Got a USB-C port right there that is fully sealed. Of course, these are going to sit under your board like that. Snaps right into that S-lock. 
These ones have a plastic casing on them. And let me show you some stuff on the website. So the SL300 and SLR1 were built on the legacy of the SL200, but upgraded in nearly every way. They're 50% brighter, IPX7, USB-C, stronger S-Lock. All of their lights have a one year warranty. So that is very good. Now these also have a full face lens on them now. They didn't used to have that. So what that means is that when they're on, you can actually see from the sides as well. So just make sure that you can see more. It helps increase your visibility from the sides and easier to see if your lights are turned on and which mode they're in. Plus it looks way cooler. I would agree with that. So on these, the outer shell of this is kind of like a soft touch kind of rubber type material, but it is permanently bonded to the inside plastic for improved durability and tear strength. They strengthen the S-Lock by adding a third point of contact to the mounts at the back of the light. Added stability and strength, it allows you to literally feel your lights click into place so you know they're locked down and ready to shred. And these things are nice and small and compact. They fit just about under anything. I was kind of surprised that they fit underneath the Lycon board, but they, they did. Real quickly, there is the back of the box. If you'd like to pause that and look at any of the facts that are on there, just go to the website. Charge time on these is two hours. All right, so that is the SLR1. I probably should show you inside of the boxes. It tells you about those and you've got stickers in here. There is a USB cable that has two little outlets on it so that you can plug in your two lights and go. And you can do that and have two different cables if you want or you can buy one of those cables that has four. So the SL300 2-pack, this is probably their biggest seller because it's, you know, people want headlights on their boards. They want to see where they're going. It has 300 lumens, IPX7 waterproof. Same thing as the other one with the USB-C charging and quick release mounting. Drive less, ride more. I like that a lot. I'll go ahead and show you the back of this box real quick in case you want to read that. You can pause that if you'd like. Pretty much the same thing as the SLR1, except for these are white. Once again on these, you just press both sides at the same time. Turns on. You can change the patterns on it if you'd like to. Basically mirrors the SLR1, but uh, with a white light. And they are nice and bright. Let's see when I turn this off. See, that's a red light that's in there. So that means these need to be charged too. If it were green, you'd know they were full. If they were yellow, then it's getting time to charge them. All in all, that is a super nice lineup. And, you know, I'm into flashlights anyways. I always have been. I've got a little collection of them. Surefire and Pentagon lights and stuff like that. So it was a natural for me when I saw these. I was like, oh, dude, I've got to have those. And they work perfect for the skateboard. I'm going to be able to go back and forth. I'll probably put a mount on the back of my bike and put this on as a tail light. Put this on as the headlight and good to go. And then I can just swap them out between all of my different stuff. I love that. So there we go, shred lights. Man, I love these things. If you're into flashlights, you probably know a lot of the things that I was talking about there, the lumens and all that, but a thousand lumens on this thing, that is one bright flashlight right there. Let me just do this real quick. Even if I was just using it as a flashlight, as far as the brightness goes, one, two, three, four, five, wow. That is just, that's a lot of light. So for whatever your lighting purposes are for your bike, for your e-bike, for your skateboard, your electric skateboard, for your backpack, for anything, scooters, anything that is mobile and active, well, these are good lights for that. Now, while I haven't checked out every light that's out there for skateboards and things like that, I'm very familiar with lights because I do photo and video work. And from what I've seen from these so far, these are pretty much the only ones that I would use and probably the only ones that I'd recommend. It's probably one of the first things that people that get an electric skateboard start thinking about or even an electric bike oh, I might need a light on this thing, you know? So whether you do one single light, you can put this up on the front of the skateboard or the two lights underneath or on top. There's just options for everything. Shred Lights is the place to get it, shredlights.com. I'm gonna put my affiliate link down there in the description. If you use that, you'll get 10% off and it helps out the channel a little bit. But I'll tell you this, whether I was an affiliate or not, I would definitely be using Shred Lights. And that's what we looked at today. I wanna thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, always very important to my channel. So if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't, subscribe yet there's a red subscribe button down there and a notification bell if you click both of those you'll get notifications when i upload new videos if you're not into the e-mobility videos that i'm putting on the channel right now that's fine i understand that if you are do me a favor just leave a comment down there it definitely is going to help out with this going forward most of all from the bottom of my heart i just want to thank you so much it's very humbling the support that you give me here in this channel and i hope you continue to do that well that's going to do it for this episode we'll catch you next time on the vapor trail channel